Well, good afternoon from VE3 WDM. Uh, I thought I'd make a video about the tow roads with regards to stripping off the, the, the coating that's on the uh, wire, the magnetic wire, before you solder it to the board. Last week I got an email from Patrick, uh, ON4CDJ, and uh, he read my blog post about the torodes and in that post I mentioned about the solder blob method of stripping off this uh, enamel coating and I guess when you say that to me it explains everything this the the solder blob removal way and uh, Patrick emailed me to wanted me to just give him uh, a better idea of how all that went together because he's brand new to torodes and he wants to uh, give them a shot jump into the pool of torodes and see how it works for him and uh, with stripping off the enamel, his question to me was, how exactly does that solder blob method work? So for me, the easiest way to do it is to make a video. I could do a, a, another blog post with a lot of pictures and everything, but a picture is worth a thousand words, but a video, I think, is worth two thousand words. So we're going to attempt to um, solve Patrick's question with regards to the uh, removal of the the insulation on these wires with my solder blob method or the solder blob method. So excuse the camera, it's going to move around a bit. I'm just going to show you what we have here that I use to, uh, to do this with and then I'm going to pause the camera to get a closer view here of the leads when I'm uh, actually removing the, um, the finish on this wire. So what we've got here is the alligator clip that I use to hold the, the torold with. I've got a little tape on here just so that I won't damage any of the of the torold. The other clip at the other end has no tape and uh, this one is just used for holding the torolds with. Now with the the uh, soldering gun I have the Weller, and we'll just move this over here, and it is the uh, WES51. Nice little temperature controlled unit here. The, uh, the tip on this particular one here when I do the torolds I use a, here we go, this tip here is a um, 1 8 tip. It's a little bit wider, but it's nice because it heats up a nice blob of solder, as you'll see when I uh, do the actual method of removing the enamel. The normal tip that I use right here is much smaller and finer, and that's just used for soldering on components and also soldering the torals onto the board. And that's that. Put that over here. I also use this uh, wire mesh tip cleaner to clean the tip in between um, melting the solder blobs on the uh, on the wire. The solder that I use for this, it's the um, 0 0.031 uh, diameter, and the solder that I've always used, even with the the board work and with this, is the SN63 PB37. How's that for a mouthful? I find that flows very well on the boards and you really don't have to apply a lot of heat for it to, uh, to work. The last thing I use, which I'm not going to be operating today, is this fan. This little puppy right over here, we'll give you a little shot of it here. This, uh, there's a lot of smoke that is produced when you remove the, uh, the enamel or the coating from the, the wire. You're using a lot of solder and it gets quite smoky. It's always a good idea to have one of these because you uh, you don't want to be breathing in the, the fumes from that. I don't think it's very healthy to do. So I usually, except for this video, use the fan. But today I say I'm not going to use it because you'll never hear me speaking when, uh, when the fan's in use. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to pause this. I'm just going to bear with me here. I'm going to move this over here and this here. We're going to get the camera all situated. Let's see, we'll move you over there. Put you, where are we going to do this here? I'll go like that, like that. Mm, I don't like having that stuff in the background. So what are we going to do? We're going to move it. Take this out of here, excuse me. And move the meter. There we go. A little more bare table. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Yeah, so, so. And let's see what we're going to do. Well, I hope this is good enough for the viewers to get the idea of how this works. Now, what I'm going to attempt to do is remove the enamel coating from that particular wire there. Oh, by the way, I just forgot. Another imperative thing to have when you do this is one of these magnifiers here that you wear on your head. 
it helps out a lot to see what's going on when you're removing the enamel so that you uh, only remove the amount that's needed. With these um, toros, you want to try to remove as much of the uh, coating, I call it enamel, it's probably not enamel, um, the varnish coating, how's that? That sounds better. Enamel sounds more like teeth. So anyway, you want to remove as much of this coating as close to the core as you can, because what you don't want to have happen is you plug the core, the torode, sorry, into the board, and it's not stripped all the way back. You solder it in, and all you've done is soldered an insulated piece of wire to your board, and you know what? Not going to work. So let's see what we're going to do here. I'm going to try something. I'm going to twist this around so I can get a better angle at it when I do my thing. We're going to disappear off the screen, and... There we go. Okay. Now, let's see how this works. I'm going to try this, and um, we're going to uh, see how it works on camera. So we'll start at the end over here, just so you can have an idea what it's like. What I do is I take this tip that's hot now, melt a little solder on there like that, I get a little blob going on there, put that on the wire, add a little more solder. You can see things smoking up a little. More solder. More. Now, you see here, see the way it's starting to bubble? The insulation, I just move that down. Add a little more solder, move it down. Now I'm just going to clean that tip off in this wire mesh again. And you can see here it's a little bit red here with the coating. Over here, not so much. And I wouldn't say that that's totally clean of the uh, insulation. So what we're going to do is, let's see how that looks on camera. Oh, beautiful. So we're going to add on this clean tip. I'll clean it again, just in case I didn't. This nice clean tip, very important to keep cleaning it. Add again a little more solder. There's that smoke. Put it right on the cable or on the, on the wire, add more, and all of a sudden you'll just see all of a sudden it just encapsulates the wire. And you can go down there, back and forth. Now clean that off, again the tip. Now what you can do, oh, not quite clean enough, there we go. Now there's some extra solder that's on here you can remove just by moving this up and down like that. See there's a bit of solder on there. Can I move that out of the screen? Nope. Okay. And let's see, remove a little more. Let's give this another shot here. Lots of smoke. There we go. There we go. Let me get my hand in here. Excuse my hand. Clean a little bit of that solder off of there. Now I brought this right up close to the core. I usually don't do that, but I'm trying to concentrate on the camera and on the soldering of this removing the insulation off this wire here. So now, you can see, and that actually gets very hot, I kind of burned my fingers there, but you can see how this is all nice and clean now, okay? You'll see here I kind of messed up. I'm just rushing this. I got a little solder blob on here and here. You just got to be careful. We're going to try this other one now. Let me just move this one more into the camera here. There we go, right there. Is that good? It's not bad. Let's see. Yep, not bad. So, we'll get this uh, iron cleaned off again, the tip. We'll come down here again with a little bit of solder. Put see here nice and clean. Oh, not quite. A little bit of solder on there. There we go. So we'll go like this and go like that and then start adding solder. Again, lots of smoke. You'll see at one point there, see the way it totally surrounds the wire? Just slowly move it. There you go. Getting a little bit too much solder on there, so we'll clean that off. There we go. Come back over here, a little bit of solder on here, and back on. And there we go, let's see. Not quite encapsulating it yet. There it is. There, that's beautiful there. And just go along. There, clean that off. If you don't clean it off, you're going to find out that it just drips off the bottom of the iron. Oops, sorry about that, didn't mean to bump you. Just drips off the bottom of the iron and down onto your table, which isn't all that great. So add a little solder on here again. There we go. Once it's stripped, it really kind of surrounds itself around the wire, no problem. It takes a little time, but you know, really, you don't have to strip all that much. It's important to get it, sorry about bumping you again, it's important about getting it down close to the, to the core, so that when you put it on the board, you're able to solder a bare piece of wire. There you go. So there. Now again, this one here, I'm rushing it, so I, I did it a little too close down here to the core, but usually I'm a little slower and not as nervous when I'm doing it. So here you have it. Where's my little tweezers? There we go. So you've stripped off the wire here, or not the wire, the, the insulation, and the insulation here. 
with uh, the solder blob method. So if you have any questions, please email me, and uh, I'll do my best to, to clear things up in case this video just didn't exhibit exactly what I was uh, talking about. If it was hard to see. But i got no problem in uh, getting back to you uh, with emails, and uh, the best of luck with your Torod uh, insulation stripping and winding and all the fun stuff that goes along with it. So 73s, and again, let me know if you have any questions. Bye for now.